All right, just for the record of the last video, just in case anybody did see that one, I'm better. I feel a bit better now, honestly. So that's something. Granted, the situation obviously did not change, but you know, I'm a bit better now, at least. So when it comes down to it, I do appreciate the people that did decided to just comment or reach out in a way and, you know, just, you know, I guess give me a better sense of things and be a bit better and just not necessarily just lingering at dark place as well and it's just something that just been annoying for a good chunk of time but i'm hanging in there we're gonna still continue and just do what we got to do and when it comes down to it just gonna try to continue to have a good time and a great time as things go on so obviously if you've seen yesterday you would know that kingdom hearts is put on steam finally and you're probably wondering why does that matter you had it on the epic game store well you gotta remember steam doesn't necessarily worry too much about drm and all the other anti-cheating which is like modding stuff that you know steam does allow on their sites and whatever so we can definitely see crazy things from cage now because you know it's not necessarily just hooked up to the epic game store now we can actually see it do free things and cool things and all the sort of stuff that fans can make and just how things can go about it honestly so and hell you can even play kingdom hearts officially on the go so now if you own like a steam deck or something similar that can run it then now you probably can just you know take these games on the go and just have fun with that because yeah it's finally about to happen also i like to pay attention and to note that the day this is coming out as well is going to be june 13th which is absolutely freaking hilarious the fact that it's number 13 because i mean we, we all know why but when it comes down to it though that's some nice stuff right and obviously when it comes down to the bigger stuff is that there's been some leaks some rumors and stuff about you know how king horse 4 might be you know which not too too much information but there is some stuff like there's gonna be maybe potentially and take this with a grain of salt because it is coming from a rumor like leaker type source but a pretty good one but they basically were saying that king hearts is gonna be an online ish quality is gonna have some stuff to it you know minor online stuff added to the game which who knows what that could be then there is also the fact that king hearts 4 is gonna look very much different than what we have seen previously which that's to be expected. I mean, you're taking this engine of Unreal Engine 4 and then you're chucking it into Unreal Engine 5. So I expect it to look different. If it don't look different, I'm about to be mad. But when it comes down to it, again, it just goes to show you we don't absolutely know anything of what the heck this game even looks like, right? Again, we don't know the party system. We don't even know what the combat might be. We don't know anything of what this game looks like. But with how they're doing this stuff with bringing this on steam and now me Dari kind of going out their way to tell us a little bit about the leakage about what kind of stuff is happening behind the scenes now it's kind of just like all right but why are we doing this though because that's what it seems like it's like why of all times now they're starting to talk about kingdom hearts in some shape and form i don't know but if anything this could lead us to summer game fest to maybe see something for kingdom hearts 4 right it ain't officially confirmed or nothing but you gotta remember they did post round one and yes square enix is not there but who's to say there ain't no round two you know it's just a little weird to say there's a round one but then not a round two and then not give us that at the same time so who knows it could be that it could be a playstation event it could be literally anything so to be perfectly honest i'm kind of just in a zone of I'm expecting something to happen now at this point. Too many things feel like there's something close to, you know, now that could happen that gives us more Kingdom Hearts content. And again, if something does happen with Cage content, I will definitely cover it on this channel. We will definitely talk about it. And if there's a trailer, bet you're behind. I'm going to react to it 100%. So very much keep that in line. I mean, if I get to see that spiky haired boy with the dang key sword actually slicing through some people and I can screech to the top of my lungs about it and freak out then absolutely we're gonna react to it 100 so keep that very much in mind i just hope whatever this online stuff that they're gonna add into the cage for isn't necessarily anything super anything like super egregious or anything like that because you know how games like to be you know heavily monetized with like cosmetics and stuff like that which i can see them doing in this game because 
they did it for 0 0.2 and never brought it back so i feel like they could do it but hopefully they won't be super again ugly just with it there is plenty of other things that they could do with it but again who knows could be just leaderboard stuff who knows really but i think this is probably going to be one of the better and bigger king horse games that ever really come out i'm hoping that kh4 honestly rivals kh2 for me because kh2 is still my favorite game of all time but we, but we'll have to see you know as that kind of happened honestly there's just been a lot of new stuff that happened like in the last couple of days like lollipop chainsaw dev was talking about how they don't want to sell the sense of the game and have the same fear of that like we do which yeah I, I fear it too but as still a blade proven you can say all that stuff all you want but it's only proven when the game is in our hands to see if anything's been changed so you know keep an eye on that but then and the fun thing is i never even played that game before so you know just keep an eye on that just in case and then obviously genshin just today talking about how they want to you know give more resin to people for 200 so it's not 160 no more so it's 200 that gives you know people a little bit more options to do stuff with which is great honestly so that's just how that is but you know there's been plenty of gaming stuff that's happening so honestly i'm just excited for the future honestly so that just kind of is what it is when it comes to that right and pretty much i would say that's kind of about it when it comes down to things you know I i'm kind of just more curious on the cage side because it feels like something close is happening when it comes to it and because Summer Game Fest is literally like right around the corner, we're definitely going to be seeing some wild and stuff out there. I'll probably do a few reactions to certain trailers, maybe if I don't necessarily just be too awestruck about what happened. But, you know, I'll try to see what we can do when it comes down to it. I don't know if I'll record the whole thing, but we'll see what happens. But yeah, that's essentially what I really wanted to just chuck down when it comes down to it so hopefully you did enjoy if you did be sure to like share subscribe hit the bell like share on my outs also follow me on the socials and like this channel ko-fi and cash app is available as well really again that would help and also i'm doing kokatsu and art commissions just in case someone else wants to come through and just dm me on twitter just to you know figure some stuff out so you know if you got some ideas of what you want me to draw or anything like that then please let me know but that's essentially all i got and until then it's a boy jay signing off have a stay.